It's umsum time. What if birds disappeared? No problem. Umsum will teach everybody how to fly. Oh, umsum. Firstly, if birds disappeared, our skies would suddenly start looking very empty. Hmm. Secondly, if birds disappeared, cats will be extremely disappointed as they kill billions of birds every year. Thirdly, snakes are voracious eaters of birds' eggs. If birds disappeared, huh? snakes may have to change their eating habits. Mm. Fourthly, birds eat millions of insects as well as spiders. If birds disappeared, both oh. insects as well as spiders will heave a sigh of relief. <sighs> Fifthly, if birds disappeared, birders, as in bird watchers, will be mightily disappointed. Mm. Sixthly, if birds disappeared, national parks as well as many tourist places may not remain that attractive anymore. Lastly, billions of birds are eaten by humans every year. If birds huh? disappeared, oh. vegetarianism may become more prevalent. Mm. Why can't birds fly in space? They want to, but I keep on bringing them back. What? Oh, I'm so. How birds fly can be best explained using Bernoulli's mm. principle. Wings of the birds play a major role in this. The shape of their wings causes air to move much faster oh. above their wings as compared to the huh? air moving below their wings. This difference in air pressure pushes up on their wings, creating a lift, thus allowing a bird to fly. Also, definition of to fly is to move in or pass through air with wings. Now, space is a vacuum. It has no air. Thus, without air, a bird will not be able to fly. Finally, even if birds were able to fly in space, they will not be able to swallow food. Why? Because birds depend on gravity to push their food downwards. Why do birds crash into windows? Because they don't ring bells and walk through doors. Oh, um, so. It is estimated that close to a billion birds crash into windows and die in the U.S. each year. Firstly, researchers believe that just like humans, even birds are not able to see transparent glass. Humans can anticipate the presence of transparent glass based on some visual clues like frames or knobs. Oh but birds lack the ability to do so. Secondly, it is believed that collisions occur more frequently during breeding season, as birds, after seeing their own reflection in the window, misjudge it for a different bird and attack it. Lastly, it is also believed that birds perceive the reflected images in the glass to be real objects. Hence, collisions occur more often when glasses reflect images of food or shelter. Mm. Why are birds shrinking <laughs> in size? I don't know. Maybe they should be eating more cookies. <laughs> oh, um, son. Huh? A research conducted over 40 years by collecting more than 70,000 samples <laughs> of 52 North American migratory birds clearly shows that birds are definitely decreasing in size. Hmm. The lower leg of the bird is commonly used as a measure of its body size. It was found that its length reduced by more than 2% huh? during this period. <laughs> Researchers believe that this decrease in body size is related to increase in global temperature. Why? Hmm. Because a smaller body size huh? allows the birds to cool off more quickly, as in lose body heat faster. It was also observed that during the same period, wingspans of birds increased by more than 1%. Researchers believe that migratory birds compensate for smaller body sizes by increasing their wingspans. This makes them better equipped to survive their long migratory journeys. Why don't birds get electrocuted on power cables? Because they wear shockproof shoes. <laughs> nah. Electricity is the flow of electrons through conductors. It always takes the easiest route. That is, electricity always flows through a path of least resistance. Now, the power cables through which electricity flows are made of copper. Copper offers least resistance and is a very good conductor of electricity. 
However, the bird's body offers greater resistance and is not a good conductor as copper. Hence, electricity ignores the bird and flows through the cables and birds don't get electrocuted. Besides this, electricity flows from its highest potential to its lowest. Now, the power cables usually run at different potentials. If birds feed are on the same power cable, then they are at same potential. Thus, the bird doesn't get electrocuted. However, when the bird touches two cables with different potentials at the same time, then electricity will flow through the bird to go to the other cable with a lower potential and the bird will get electrocuted. Why do birds fly in V formation? Cause V is for victory. Oh, <laughs> dude. Flocks of birds like geese and pelicans fly in V formations to make flight easier. In V formations, when a bird flaps its wings, the air behind the bird gets pushed downward, creating a down wash, while the air towards its sides gets pushed upward, creating an up wash. This produces rotating vortices. If another bird flies in these upwash zones, it gets a free lift and glides due to reduced air resistance. Thus, birds are able to fly long distances without putting much effort and maintaining a clear line of sight. Besides this, since the bird in the lead faces greater air resistance, the birds keep changing their positions in the V and take turns as leaders. This maximizes the use of each bird's energy, allowing flocks to fly without having to stop. Why do birds need gravity to swallow food? Maybe because they are fans of Newton. No. When humans eat food, it enters into a muscular organ called food pipe or esophagus. In the esophagus, a series of contraction and relaxation takes place that pushes or moves food towards the stomach. This movement is called peristalsis. Dude, why do you use such complicated names? Oh, please listen. In most birds, such peristaltic <laughs> movement doesn't take place in their esophagus. Hence, oh. they need to depend on gravity to push mm. their food through the esophagus. When a bird eats its food, the bird lifts or tilts its head up and with the help of its tongue, it directs the food towards the throat. Then, the gravitational force of Earth causes the food to slide down into a pouch called crop, thus helping the bird to swallow its food. <laughs> How do migratory mm. birds find their way? With the help of GPS. <laughs> no. Every year, many migratory uh. birds fly thousands of kilometers uh. to find food, to avoid extreme uh. weather, etc. But researchers don't oh. know how these birds find their way and travel to the same location year after year. Mm. However, an observation suggests that migratory birds can detect the Earth's magnetic field lines that appear to emerge from South Pole and merge into North Pole. When migratory birds have to travel from North to South, or <laughs> vice versa, they align themselves with the magnetic field lines and travel to their location. Along with this, migratory birds may also find their way by creating a oh. mental map of their route using mountains, ah. rivers, etc. Besides this, it is also believed that migratory birds use the location oh. of the sun and stars to find their way and reach the same location. <laughs> what if all animals disappeared? Huh? Then I will also disappear. No, wait, I am confused. Oh, I'm some. Firstly, planet Earth is inhabited by billions of mammals and birds, trillions of insects and fishes. It would be impossible to imagine what Earth would look like if all animals disappeared. Huh? Mm. Secondly, more than 90% of the human population consumes meat. If all animals disappeared, huh? they would have no choice but to turn vegetarian. Mm. Thirdly, Livestock industry, meat industry, zoos, national parks employ millions of people. If all animals huh? disappeared, they will have to look for new jobs. Mm. Fourthly, millions of people around the world own a pet. If all animals disappeared, huh? pet owners would need to nurse their broken hearts. <laughs> Lastly, animals as well as humans have evolved over billions of years and have become part of a delicate food chain. If all animals disappeared, the entire huh? food chain will collapse. Mm.
Why do huh? animals' eyes glow in the dark? Because they have hidden torches. <laughs> nah. Huh? Wait, I'll explain. Our eyes have a layer called retina, huh? which is made up of photoreceptors. When light enters our eyes, it hits the photoreceptors. Photoreceptors detect light, thus making it possible to see. <laughs> Hmm. However, the light oh. which doesn't hit the photoreceptors remains undetected. Oh, poor undetected light. Now, nocturnal animals like owls need to see oh. better during the night. Hmm. Hence, their eyes have another layer below the retina called tapetum lucidum. Now, when light doesn't hit oh. the photoreceptors, it reaches the tapetum lucidum. This layer acts like a huh? mirror. It reflects light back <laughs> onto the photoreceptors, thus giving them a second chance to detect light. Some of this reflected light also uh -huh. comes out of the animal's eyes, thus making it seem that its oh. eyes are glowing. <laughs>